Hello and welcome. Today I will share with you the excellent, the most unknown form of yoga that is micro yoga in English. And the original name of it is called Sukshma Vyayam or Sukshma Yoga. So, here, very, very effective exercises, very slow, very mindful, being with your breath, being with your body. And slowly we will start from the head all the way to the toe. And if you are following this exercise every day in the morning, you will find that all the flexibility of the joint improves, and your breathing improves, and your concentration improves. And that also helps you in your yoga practice too. So only for 15 minutes or so with me, we will start Sukshmi Yoga. So with me, having straight posture first, we are more focused on the breathing, aligning our straight posture and dropping our thoughts and being one with the breath. Straight posture, eyes are closed. Inhale and exhale full. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Inhaling very deep in the stomach so you feel inflating of your stomach and exhaling full out. Let the awareness of the breath from your throat. When you inhale and exhale, you observe your vocal cords stimulating. And that's how you will gain better control over your breath. So slowly and gently with me, we will start with the sound of home. Hands are together in the center. Anjali Mudra. And we start with three sound of home. Inhale with me. Slowly and gently, hands are down, going to your waist, have a stance, have more space between your feet so you are balanced, staying steady and straight. We start with the neck first, inhaling deep and going up. The shoulders are relaxed, eyes are looking up on the eyebrows. Exhale, slowly and gently going down. Your chin go very, very close to your chest, stretching for the first few times, slow and steady. Inhale, going up. Exhale, slowly and gently down. Focus on the stretch, focus on the control over your breath, exhaling fully out. Then you hold the posture, holding the breath out entirely and slowly start to inhale and going up again. Stretching a little bit more. Exhale, slowly down. A complete exhalation. So you have a spine fully stretched. Inhale, going up one more time. Eyes are looking up in the center of your eyebrows. So we are stretching our eyes as well. Exhale, slowly down. A complete breath out. And final time, inhale, going up. Having a full stretch and the shoulders are relaxed. Exhale slowly and gently down. Now we're back in the center, starting with our second exercise. And with the neck, we are a little bit slow. So starting our second exercise, we inhale deep and first we go on, on the left side, on your left side. Inhale full. 
in the center and we go on the left side. As we go on the left, our shoulders stay still and steady. Eyes are looking as back as possible, so your eyes are motivating you to look back, holding the breath in, pull, exhale, back in the center. With the neck, we are slow and gentle. Inhale deep, going on the right, full stretch. Exhale, slowly and gently back in the center again. Inhale deep on the left again, full breath in, eyes are looking as back as possible. So from the left eye you see far back and from the right you see the corner of your nose stretching full. Exhale in the center. Inhale deep on the right, full breath in. Exhale slowly and gently back in the center. So that is the exercise that will help to make your neck stronger and flexible. Inhale deep on the left side too. Keep on doing inhale. Exhale in the center. Inhale deep going on the right or where you are now. Exhale slowly and gently back in the center. So you are you will find that your neck is stretched and relaxed. Now with the shoulder. So now we have our fingers on the top of the shoulder, have a chin tucked down. So that's how spine stretches. Inhale, exhale, pull. And we are making a big circle from our elbows. So that's how our shoulder blades make a bigger movement. And the shoulders start to get relaxed, warmed up, and also your back will get warmed up. Inhale, exhale, full. Find a rhythm and a big circle. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And also making sure that your shoulders are relaxed when you do so. Three. Eyes are looking down towards your chest. Four. Full, full inhale, full exhale. And five. Now slowly we stop and we go opposite, other side. Inhale, exhale deep, making a, a circle from your elbows. Deep inhale, deep exhale, have your awareness on your shoulders and your breathing. Three, until they count to five. So that's how we stay in the posture for at least five to 10 seconds. Three, four, Full inhale, full exhale in your own rhythm, having a deeper and full moment in five. Slowly, gently, hands are down. You observe that your shoulders, oh, that feels really nice. Okay, so that's our next exercise. We have the hands straight out and parallel with the ground. Also making sure that our shoulders are not tucked, not tight, as relaxed as possible. Inhale full, and we are squeezing our fingers into our palm. Deep inhale, deep exhale. So you can observe all your fingers are, are making an impression in your, in your palm. So the glands of the palm start to get more blood flow and the grip improve. Also the health of your fingernails improve. Also you will not have any arthritis of your joints of the fingers. And also you observe that your forearms will get stronger and of course your shoulders will get stronger and wider. Four and five. Slowly, if you like, you can have a short break, having the hands down, roll your shoulders and relax. Now our next exercise, having the hands up again. And this time we have the thumbs in and the fingers on the top. And we are rolling our wrists. So just the moment of the wrist. Inhaling, exhaling full. Deep inhale and deep exhale. One. So you're making sure that your hands are not moving. Just your wrist. Enough. Stay with the breath. So you start to gain a better control. So you start to make bigger movement and feel the stretch of all your fingers. Four. Five. Slowly stop and we go other way around. Inhale, exhale, pull, be mindful. Also, the shoulders are relaxed. So slowly with the time, the shoulders will be stronger. You will be able to hold your hand for a bit longer. Also, also the movement on your wrist will improve as well. Four and five. Slowly and gently, hands are down. The shoulders are relaxed. 
Now, with our waist and the rib. So we do it in very, very simple way. That having a space between our feet enough, enough wider, and have the left hand on your waist. And we start with the right side. Inhale deep, we go on the left side. Stretching fully, eyes are trying to look on the tip of your fingers. Exhale, slowly back. Inhale full, you go opposite side, stretch fully. Exhale, slowly gently to the center. Inhale full, stretching a bit more. Exhale slowly, gently back in the center. Here we also making sure that both our feet are on the ground. Inhale deep, stretching up full. Eyes are looking up on the fingers, holding the breath. Observe the stretch on your base and your rib. Exhale slowly, gently back in the center. Inhale deep, we go on the left side again. Exhale slowly, gently back in the center. Inhale. Exhale to the center. Inhale deep. We again go on the left side. Exhale in the center. Now, final time. Inhale deep. We go on the right side, stretching full. Exhale slowly, gently back in the center. Very good. So, that is from the side now of your lower back and your upper hips. And also, your hamstring will stretch along with that. So, here we are doing a motion with one breath at a time. In the beginning, it might be a little bit hard, but if we stay focused on the breath, you will enjoy this posture, and that, is, that has many, many benefits to you. I will explain you in my upcoming videos, and also when I, I have a better quality of the video and audio. Okay, hands up on the waist. Inhale deep, open up the chest. And the chin go up, eyes are looking up on the eyebrows, full stretch on the spine, exhale. Okay, gently, I'm moving forward. When we do so, eyes are looking forward, stay not down on the ground, so that's how the shoulders are inactive. When we have the head up, the shoulders are active. And now, inhaling deep, have the awareness on the navel, going up full up. Holding the same breath, exhale, forward bending again. Inhale, have the awareness on your navel, slowly rising up. Exhale, forward bending again. You observe that your hamstring, these are the strings in your legs, on the back of the leg, that is stretching very nicely. Inhale, going up, pulling up. Now the final time, one more time. Exhale, forward bending, eyes are looking forward. Inhale, going up. Fully up, opening of the chest. Hands back and back in the center. Inhale, exhale. If you feel like you want to have a break here, have a break, hands are down. Eyes are looking down on the floor. Have the chin as close as, as possible to your chest. Inhaling, exhaling deep. Or you can also have a seat if you feel like. And if you want to just go on, okay, stay with me here. Now with our waist, very important also for your pelvic muscle, very important for your tailbone, very important for your hips and hip joint. Inhale, exhale, full, and we are making a big circle from the waist. So we are drawing a circle from the waist and inhaling and exhaling at the same time. When you know the motion, you also observe that your knees are locked. They're not on the bend, okay? So that way you have this nice motion on your waist, on your hip that you feel it. Just keep on doing and be with your breath. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Very, very important. Four and five. Now opposite way, deep inhale, deep exhale, we are making a big circle from the waist, that is the awareness when we are drawing a big circle from our hips. And now as you observe that your knees are locked straight, also your ankles are moving and also your toes will get a better control. So that is that is very, very good, very good posture. Also if you have a slightly this low back pain, that will start to go 
away with this exercise slow and steady inhale and exhale and don't be shy if you're a male if you're thinking why should i move like a female no that that is stereotyping so please inhale and exhale and five slowly and gently right and also if you if you are pregnant you can still do this posture in all the postures that we are doing if anything important i will inform you okay so after this exercise now with the knees so here with the knees first we have space between our feet enough then we are bending our knees and after that we're joining them we're making this a shape hands on your thighs inhale exhale full again we are drawing a circle only for my knees and here you're making sure that your toes stay on the ground not up on the ground inhale exhale when you stay with the breath it comes to we, we, are, we are trying to draw a big circle as big as possible inhale and exhale as you observe the moment you observe your ankles you observe your thighs will get strong you also observe that your hips are stretching your lower back stretching is straight also your knees will be flexible stronger also you will not have any any common knee injuries when you are doing this exercise because you are improving the strength of the tissue of the knee and also arthritis of the knee that is a huge problem and if you do this exercise it is my experience and it is the experience of many other people that your arthritis will just go away and if you if you don't have it if you're doing this exercise it will not happen to you for and five opposite way deep inhale and deep exhale going opposite side full inhale full exhale two three four five now slowly stop and now straight now with our toes that is very important now if you're not able to have the balance you can use a wall as a support or a table or a stool or just a chair so i show you just for example we have a left leg straight engage have the right foot out straight and if you're able to have your hands on your waist tight and stretching your toe out all the way so that way the entire leg is active deep inhale deep exhale eyes are focused on your toe now stretching our toe upwards so you observe your shin muscle when the shin muscle is healthy you don't feel any pain while you're hiking or running because that is the important muscle which is not used so much in a daily life but when you're running or you do you're hiking you know what i mean by that stretching it up deep inhale deep exhale and now we're drawing a big circle from the big toe Deep inhale, deep exhale. In the beginning, if it's hard for you, that is okay. Slowly, being with the breath, being with the practice, you start to make a bigger movement. And also, with this posture, with this exercise we are doing, you will start to gain control on all your toes. And also, the arthritis of your toe will also not happen to you if you're doing this exercise on a daily basis or just a few times in a week. Now opposite way, inhale and exhale, and that is just my experience I'm sharing with you. Three, four, five. Now slowly, down, now the opposite. Stretching the toe out, deep inhale, deep exhale. Again, if you if you want to have support, have it, but straight posture, deep inhale, deep exhale. Entire leg is active here. Now opposite way. So just a few breaths, a couple of deep breaths. Step, staying here, having full stretch, full awareness of the entire leg that is helping you to stand still and straight. And now again from here, you're drawing a circle with a count of five. One, two, three. Four, oops, and five. Now opposite way, deep inhale and deep exhale. 
And make sure that you stay with the breath, not having struggle. Oh, I'm not able to do this. Oh, my mind is wondering. Oh, what I'm going to do next? Oh, what happened and yesterday? Escape the thoughts. Have a deep breath in. Deep breath out. The more you do this, better you get. So that is why you are you're very mindful with your breathing, with your body, appreciating this body, which is the ultimate tool that you have to do everything, to enjoy everything. And here now, we are finished with Sukshmi Yoga. I invite you to do this every day of a week. You will find so much of the flexibility in all your joints. Also, you will find a better control over your breath. If you have some back pain, for example, or some, some pain just on the shoulders, on the neck, the stiffness and tightness, that will melt away. This is an ancient practice of Sukshma Vayam. You will always stay healthy and fit if you do this. It is my experience that I see in my family and I share it with you. And I invite you to do it every day or at least one or two times in a week. Here, I thank you so much. I wish you a nice day. Ending with me with one sound of home, straight posture, hands are in the center, inhaling deep, and with me, a prolonged sound of home and shanti three times. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.